What's up YouTube? You're looking into buying a cheap welder but you're not sure if it's good enough for what you need? Well, let's take a look at this guy and find out. This is a 90 amp flux core machine that I got from Harbor Freight about 7 years ago. And it was on sale for 99 bucks. This guy's got a basic high-low switch or on this one, a minimum, maximum. Max meaning 90 amps and minimum meaning somewhere around 60. Yeah, you got 10 different wire speed settings so you can really dial it in depending on what you're working on. Probably weighs about 40 pounds or so, not terrible. And it's a 120 volt machine that pulls 20 amps when you're at maximum. And it's pretty basic, just meant for mild steel, no aluminum, no stainless. You see, cheap welders are not professional machines. They're not meant for heavy duty work, but if you're an experienced welder, you can usually make do with most jobs with a cheap machine like this. A cheap welder can only do so much, but a savvy person working the art can make all the difference. But also, if you're a beginner, a cheap machine like this is a great buy to hone in your skills and then work up to a better machine. But I have to say the biggest downfall of any cheap welder is the duty cycle. But what is duty cycle? Ha! So glad you asked. Basically, you want to think of a 10 minute span of time. If the duty cycle is 10%, like on my cheap Harbor Freight machine, that means you can weld for one minute, then you have to let it rest for nine. So that just basically means this thing's not suitable for a huge project. What I like to do, weld a little bit, clean up what you're working on, set up for the next spot and continue, and it usually gets the job done. Well, enough talk. Let's get down to business. I'll show you what this thing's actually capable of. All right, basically all I have here is an old piece of angle iron stuck to an old lawnmower blade that I had kicking around the shop. I got the joint nice and cleaned off. There's a little bit of a gap. And I have it on this piece of plate steel just to protect my table. Let's let it rip. Now we'll brush it off. There you have it, guys. That is a $99 welder welding 1 8 to 3 16 three inch path it took me about 20 seconds or so of welding so that gives you an idea of what kind of welding you can do with a 10 percent duty cycle but i will say i have pushed this well past the 10 percent duty cycle limit and this has a little light that comes on right here that'll tell you that it's too hot and actually shuts the machine down until it's cool enough to weld again and replacing your welding wire is real simple there's a screw right here and another one on this side and the lid pops right off and there's your wire nice and easy to replace only takes two screws I replace the wire probably two or three times a year, so taking out two bolts, who cares? Well, my final thoughts on this, guys. A cheap welder can be really good at what it's designed to do. Cheap welders like this are not designed for professional work, and they're not designed for heavy-duty steel work. But if you're a guy like me that builds stuff out of old bed frames that you get for free, or if you're going to build stuff like this badass solid steel tamper, then maybe a cheap welder is the way to go for you. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, yeah.